All right, let's dive into a topic that doesn't always get a lot of love, but is absolutely essential for your digestion and overall health, bile production. By the end of this video, you will know exactly what bile is, how it's made, and how to naturally boost your body's own production. First things first, what is bile? Bile is a greenish yellow fluid that your body produces to help you digest and absorb fats. Think of it as a detergent for your digestive system. Just like soap breaks down grease on your dishes, bile emulsifies fats, so it breaks them down so they can be mixed with water. This turns them into tiny droplets that your digestive enzymes can easily work on. For example, without bile, your body would struggle to absorb fat-soluble vitamins like A, D, E, and K. Bile also plays a role in removing waste products from your body. It helps carry toxins, excess cholesterol, and other waste out of your liver and into your intestines, where they can easily be eliminated through your stool. When bile production is lower than optimal, or when your bile flow is obstructed, your body can send out a variety of warning signs. One of the most common symptoms are problems with your digestion, especially after eating fatty meals. You might experience bloating, gas, nausea, or a general feeling of heaviness in your stomach. Since bile is essential for breaking down fats, not having enough of it can also lead to greasy or whitish stool. This is a sign that fats are passing through your digestive system without being properly absorbed. Over time, this malabsorption can cause deficiencies in fat-soluble vitamins, which of course leads to all kinds of other health issues. Over time, you could also develop gallstones in the gallbladder or a sluggish liver, since reduced bile flow means more toxin accumulation. Remember, your liver is the primary detoxification organ in the body, and most of the fat-soluble toxins need to pass through it before they're eliminated. If they can't be flushed out along with your bile, they accumulate and deposit in the tissue. To understand how we can increase bile production, we first need to know how it is naturally made in the body. Here's what this process looks like. It starts with your liver, which is the organ that makes bile. Liver cells called hepatocytes are like tiny factories producing bile from cholesterol, water, and various other substances. Cholesterol is really the key ingredient here, since about 75% of the bile acids in your body come from cholesterol. Once bile is produced, it is stored and concentrated in the gallbladder. The gallbladder is like a reservoir holding onto bile until you eat a meal, especially one rich in fats. When you eat, your gallbladder then contracts and releases bile into the small intestine via the bile ducts. There, it gets to work breaking down fats. In terms of chemical makeup, bile is a mix of several substances, including bile acids, which again are derived mostly from cholesterol, bilirubin, which is a waste product from the breakdown of red blood cells, water, and also electrolytes. The liver uses a series of chemical reactions to convert cholesterol into primary bile acids, such as cholic acid. These acids are then conjugated, so bound with amino acids like glycine or taurine to make them more water-soluble and effective at emulsifying fats. Also important to know is that most bile acids are reabsorbed in the small intestine and sent back to the liver for reuse. This recycling system saves energy and resources. Now, if you want to naturally boost bile production, there are several ways of doing this. The first is making sure that you have enough bile cofactors for optimal production. For your body to produce bile effectively, it needs a variety of nutrients that act as building blocks in the process. Here are the key players. First, cholesterol, and I already mentioned this before. Cholesterol often gets a bad rep, but it's actually essential for bile production. The liver converts cholesterol into bile acids, so having enough of it in your diet to stimulate bile production in the first place is important. Since preformed cholesterol comes only from animal foods, vegans and vegetarians are at a disadvantage here and rely solely on their own body to make enough cholesterol on its own. Next are taurine and glycine. These amino acids are essential for conjugating bile acids, making them water-soluble. 
Taurine is found pretty much only in animal proteins, especially meat. And glycine is found in collagen-rich foods like poultry skin, bone broth, legumes, and dairy. Of the two, taurine is usually the limiting factor. But again, if you don't eat animal foods, you are at a disadvantage here. Theoretically, the body can make its own taurine, but the need for it can increase in times of stress, so keep that in mind. Third, we have choline. Choline is a vitamin B-like substance that is required for the production of phosphatidylcholine, a key component of bile. It also helps with liver function and fat metabolism. A great source of choline is lecithin, which also acts as a natural emulsifier, so similar to bile, it helps mix fat with water. This is important because it also prevents the clogging of bile ducts and gallstone formation. Lastly, a few vitamins and minerals are also used in the process of making bile or putting it to use. For example, vitamin C helps convert cholesterol into bile acids because it acts as a cofactor for the enzymes involved in the process. And vitamin B6 is needed for healthy amino acid metabolism, which includes the production of taurine. Vitamin B12 and folate are necessary for methylation pathways that are indirectly involved in bile production and the detoxification process in the liver. In terms of minerals, magnesium is probably the most critical one here because it helps with the contraction of the gallbladder, making sure a bile is released when it's needed. So the first step to increasing bile production naturally is to make sure you have enough of these nutrients. Like I said before, Many of them are provided through animal foods, so vegans and vegetarians are limited somewhat. If their body is healthy, this isn't a problem, but if you notice symptoms of reduced bile production and don't eat meat, for example, you probably need to supplement. Same with the vitamins and mineral cofactors, but that goes for everyone. For example, many people nowadays are borderline magnesium deficient, especially athletes. Another way of naturally stimulating the release of bile is eating more bitter foods. They are known for their ability to stimulate bile production because they have a direct impact on both the taste receptors and the gastrointestinal system. When you eat bitter foods like dandelion greens, arugula, or grapefruit, they activate bitter taste receptors called T2Rs on the tongue and throughout the digestive tract. These receptors send signals to the brain, which then communicates with the vagus nerve to stimulate the release of digestive enzymes and secretions like bile. The bitter compounds also interact with the enteroendocrine cells lining the stomach and intestines. These cells release hormones like CCK when you eat bitter foods. CCK is a key player in bile stimulation because it signals the gallbladder to contract and release stored bile into the small intestine. On top of that, CCK also communicates with the liver to increase bile production by enhancing the conversion of cholesterol into bile acids. This feedback loop makes sure that enough bile is always available to be put to use. And lastly, we need to talk about bile supplements like ox bile, bile salts, bile acids, and tutka. I explain all of them in more detail in a different video, but they all have certain pros and cons. For example, taking ox bile would be the most direct way of increasing your bile levels, but because it is very alkaline, you want to make sure that you take it after a meal so it doesn't interfere with your stomach acid production. On the other hand, tutka also has liver protective capabilities, but it is just one part of bile, specifically a type of bile acid. So it misses the other parts of bile, like bile salts, bilirubin, cholesterol, phospholipids, and water. Depending on what you're looking for, each of the many bile supplements might be the best choice for you. Okay, so there you have it. As you can see, bile is so much more than just a digestive fluid. It's a key player in fat digestion, vitamin absorption, detoxification, and gut health. By understanding how bile is produced and taking steps to support your body's natural production, you can improve not just your digestion, but your overall health. This is especially important in today's world that is so taxing on our digestive system and liver.